Youth runner here with uh, Rincon Standout, a uh, million north, 1836 and change, uh, winner of the girls' championship race here at the Desert Twilight Festival, Toka Sticks uh, Golf Club in, uh, in Mesa. Obviously, I, and, I, and, I, and I don't say this with, with any pride or pleasure, you're no stranger to heat like this, uh, 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 but I mean, did, did, uh, did, you, uh, did you feel like it was any more challenging or, or more oppressive uh, than, uh, than, you know, uh, than other, uh, other times? Um, yeah, in Tucson, the heat is definitely more dry heat, so that's definitely hot, but today was more humid, which I'm not used to. Um, but I just powered through and I feel good about my race. Uh, in, I mean, but to still be able to, uh, to have the opportunity, you know, uh, I know obviously uh, a lot of ground still to cover. Uh, still want to have a great race. You have the state meet at Cave Creek, but I mean, obviously, you know, even though Desert Twilight returned here last year, NXR Southwest was still at you know Coyote Run at Leisure World. The fact that they're both here uh, this year, like, you know, uh, how much more inspiration and motivation uh, does that give you, uh, Amelia? That this is kind of like you know the, uh, the dress rehearsal for what we hope are much more favorable conditions in November. Yeah, that's it. Definitely uh, makes me feel more confident going into NXR because I'm more familiar with the, the course. I mean, I ran it last year, but I didn't even look at a map before today. I was just like following the golf cart. Hopefully, I was going I was the right way, and yeah. I'm looking forward to NXR. Most definitely. Uh, uh, not, uh, not just because of the great performance tonight, but just uh, in general. Uh, 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 how would you uh, kind of sum uh, summarize, you know, what August and September has, uh, has looked like uh, for you and you know, uh, and the, the work that you're excited about doing in October to get ready for state? Yeah, um, yeah I put in a lot of miles in um, hard training this summer. Um, and it showed off in August when I had my first race in Chandler. Um, and and I had a huge PR, I had a 56 second PR, um, and yeah, I've just been seeing how much I improved um, from last year, it's just so cool, and I'm looking forward to putting more work in and hopefully doing really well at state. Most definitely. In, uh, in, in, ter in terms of you know, the different challenges that, that, that this offers, but obviously as, uh, as someone that, uh, that's a veteran and, and who has, uh, has been around, uh, you know, in, in terms of you're re uh, really building uh, that strength to be able to crest you know, uh, that final hill and then be able to attack the last downhill at Cave Creek. Yes. Like, uh, are, you, are you feel like the, you know, the, the progress you know, uh, to, uh, to get there in early November? Like, I mean, are you happy with the way things are lining up? Yeah, I am really happy. I've been working on hills and speed a lot to get um, over the hills in November. Um, and yeah, I feel like it's it's all working out so far, and I think it's going to continue working out. For awesome. Yeah. Again, girls' championship winner here at the Desert Twilight Festival at, uh, at Toka Sticks, uh, 1836 and change uh, for Amelia North from Rincon. Congratulations. Thank you.